Peppa Pig, Peppa and the Flying Vet Peppa has brought Goldie the fish to the vet for a checkup. You've got a healthy fish, Peppa, says Dr. Hamster. Thank you, says Peppa. <coughs> Suddenly, Dr. Hamster's telephone rings. It is Mr. Elephant. Hello, Dr. Hamster, he says. We found a sick lizard in the mountains. It, it's a gecko, not a lizard, adds Edmund Elephant. <laughs> I'll be right there, says Dr. Hamster. Dr. Hamster springs into action. Can we come too? asks Peppa. <laughs> of course, replies the vet. All aboard the aeroplane. I didn't know you had an aeroplane, Dr. Hamster, says Mummy Pig. <laughs> oh yes, replies Dr. Hamster proudly. I'm the flying vet. Mr. Elephant spots the aeroplane in the sky. Thank goodness, he exclaims. The vet is here. When Dr. Hamster lands, she calls. Where's the sick lizard? This poor lizard is upside down, says Dr. Hamster, flipping it over. There, he's all better. Then Dr. Hamster's mobile phone rings. This must be another emergency, she says, answering the call. Hello, Grandpa Pig here, says Grandpa Pig. It's Polly, she's sick. I'll be right there, promises Dr. Hamster. So Peppa, George and Mummy Pig jump back into the aeroplane. Look, Polly, it's the flying vet, <coughs> cries Grandpa Pig when he sees the airplane. We're going into the sea, cries Peppa. This is a seaplane, Peppa, says Dr. Hamster. We can land on the water. Polly has been ill since we got on board, explains Grandpa Pig. She must be seasick, says Dr. Hamster. And when Grandpa Pig puts Polly on dry land, she soon feels much better. Dr. Hamster's mobile phone rings again. It is Daddy Pig in his office. There are some ducklings stuck on our roof, says Daddy Pig. You're just in time, says Daddy Pig. <coughs> Mrs. Duck laid her eggs on our roof, says Mrs. Cat. And they hatched, adds Mr. Rabbit. But the ducklings don't know the way to the pond. <coughs> Who can make a quacking noise? asks Dr. Hamster. Quack, quack, <coughs> says Peppa, and the ducklings follow her back to the pond. <coughs> Dr. Hamster's phone rings for a fourth time. Is it another emergency? asked Peppa, hopefully. <coughs> yes, that was Mr. Hamster, says Dr. Hamster. I'm late for tea. Must fly. Thanks for your help, everyone cries, waving her off in her airplane. No problem, Dr. Hamster calls. It's all in a day's work for the flying vet. The end. Peppa and the Great Vacation Peppa Pig and George are packing to go on vacation. You can't bring everything, says Daddy Pig. But we need all our toys, says Peppa. Just your favourites, says Daddy Pig. Peppa brings Teddy. <laughs> George brings his dinosaur. Dinosaur! Arr, says George. <laughs> Can Goldie come too? asks Peppa. 
Sorry, Peppa. Goldie can't join us, but Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig will look after her. The car is packed and the family is on the road. When will we get there? Calls Peppa from the back seat. Daddy Pig tells Peppa that they have a long drive. I miss Goldie, says Peppa. Do you think she's all right? I think so, says Mummy Pig. Peppa calls Grandpa Pig just to make sure. At the vacation house, Mummy Pig unpacks her suitcase. She brought a lot of things. Daddy, you found the pool, calls Peppa. Yes, says Daddy Pig. I did. <laughs> Mummy Pig goes shopping in town. Peppa and George want to have pizza for lunch. Hmm. Mummy Pig has found some presents for Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig. That won't all fit in your suitcase, says Daddy Pig. I want to get something too, says Peppa. I hope it's small, says Daddy Pig. It is, says Peppa. It's a postcard and it doesn't have to go in the suitcase. It will go in the mail. <laughs> the next day, Peppa and her family go on a nature walk. Daddy Pig has packed a big picnic lunch. There's nothing but trees, says Peppa. Look around, Peppa, says Mummy Pig. There is lots to see here. Peppa looks around. Tracks, she says. I see tracks. Dinosaur, asks George. No, George, not dinosaur tracks, says Peppa. The tracks come to an end. Peppa gets Daddy Pig's binoculars and looks up. I see birds, a mother and babies in a nest. Peppa likes looking through the binoculars. Next she looks down. I see ants, she says. They're carrying leaves for lunch and salad. <laughs> Yuck, says George. Peppa is hungry. So are Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig and George. Time for a nice picnic lunch. Hmm. Peppa can't wait to tell Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig what a nice day they had on the nature walk. That evening, Peppa calls Grandpa Pig. He promises to tell Goldie that Peppa misses her and that she will soon be home. We're taking good care of her, he says. The next day, Daddy Pig and Mummy Pig take Peppa and George to the beach. It's a sandy beach with lots of rocks. Peppa finds a shell. George finds a fossil. Daddy Pig finds a crab. <laughs> There's a tide pool, says Peppa. Peppa and George look into the tiny pool. There are small plants. There's a gold coin, says Peppa. Ew, says George. Something is making bubbles. What could it be? A fish, says Peppa. Hello, fish. You would love my fish, Goldie. <laughs> Vacation is nearly over. <sighs> Time to pack the suitcases and get back in the car. It's a long drive home, but Peppa has Teddy to keep her company in the back seat. She has George too. It has been a great vacation, but she can't wait to see Goldie. <coughs> Mummy Pig gives Granny Pig her present. Peppa runs to see Goldie. Oh, you've grown, she says. A lot. She seemed hungry, says Grandpa Pig. <coughs> Mr. Zebra arrives. I have a postcard all the way from the beach, he says. 
Look, Goldie, says Peppa, you've got mail, something from our great vacation. The end. Peppa Pig and the Day of Giving Thanks <laughs> Peppa Pig and her brother George love going for walks with Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. Today they are out among the trees and flowers and bugs and birds. Peppa is happy and thankful to be in this beautiful place. Wow! For Peppa and her family, it is a day for giving thanks. I love the blue sky, says Peppa. Thank you, sky. <laughs> I love the clouds floating in the sky, she says. They make pretty shapes. Thank you, clouds. Peppa and George look for more things to thank on their walk. So does Daddy Pig. He looks up at a tall tree. Thank you, tree, he says. <laughs> Peppa sees her favourite fruit. Thank you, apples, says Peppa. It's nice to see you, turtle. <laughs> Peppa is thankful for the frogs, the fish, and especially the ducks. <laughs> Look, George, says Mummy Pig, butterflies. George flaps his arms, just like the butterflies. George points. Oh, says Peppa. Then she says, thank you, spider. <laughs> ah, cries Daddy Pig. He runs. He does not say thank you to the spider. There are so many things to be thankful for. The flowers help the bees says Mummy Pig. And the bees give us honey, says Peppa. I love honey. Hmm. There are so many colourful leaves and pumpkins. <sighs> so pretty, says Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and George play in the leaves. <laughs> Peppa feels something. Oh no! Rain, says Mummy Pig. Peppa doesn't want to get wet. She is not thankful for the rain. Oh no! Daddy Pig, Mummy Pig, Peppa and George wait under the trees. The water pours down. The ducks don't mind the rain at all. When the rain stops, they move on. But Peppa doesn't see the birds or butterflies or even the ducks. And the sky isn't blue. <sighs> Where are the frogs and the turtles? <laughs> then, just ahead, Peppa sees something. She smiles. Look! The rain left a surprise for Peppa and George. <laughs> Thank you for the muddy puddle. <laughs> the end. Peppa Pig, Peppa visits the aquarium. <laughs> this is Peppa's pet fish, Goldie. Wow. Every morning, Peppa gives Goldie breakfast. Hmm. Time to eat, she says. <laughs> oh dear, Goldie is not eating. <gasps> what is wrong with Goldie, Peppa asks. She looks a bit sad, says Mummy Pig. Oh no! I think she is lonely, says Peppa. She doesn't have any fish friends. <sighs> Maybe Goldie could visit the aquarium, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> What's an aquarium? Peppa asks. It is a place with lots of fish, says Daddy Pig. Oh goody! cries Peppa. 
We can find a friend for Goldie Dare. Let's go. Peppa and her family drive to the aquarium. <coughs> Miss Rabbit sells them tickets. The fish can go in for free, she says. Enjoy your visit. <coughs> the first room has many little fish. Could one of these fish be Goldie's new friend? Asks Daddy Pig. No, says Peppa. They are too small. Peppa's friend, Candy Cat, is in the next room with her family. Hello, Candy, says Peppa. We are finding a friend for Goldie. <laughs> the fish in this room look like little dinosaurs. Dinosaur, says George. <laughs> These aren't dinosaurs, <laughs> says Candy. They are called seahorses. Wow. Could a seahorse be Goldie's friend? Meow. Candy asks. No, says Peppa. They are too dinosaur -y. Everyone goes to the next room. The tank in here has a very strange fish. Wow, says Daddy Pig. This fish looks like a big eye. <laughs> it is a big eye. On a very big fish. Maybe this one could be Goldie's new friend, says Mummy Pig. No, says Peppa. It is too big. There is only one room left to visit. But there are no fish in this tank. There is only green slime. Oh, and Miss Rabbit is in the tank too. She is cleaning it. <laughs> the last stop is the cafe. Hmm. We did not find a friend for Goldie, <laughs> Peppa says sadly. <sighs> then Peppa notices a bowl on the counter. <coughs> what is that? <coughs> Peppa asks. That is my pet goldfish, Ginger, says Miss Rabbit. <coughs> Goldie likes Ginger. Ginger likes Goldie. Goldie can visit Ginger any time she wants, says Miss Rabbit. Goldie has made a friend at the aquarium after all. The End Peppa Pig, Peppa Meets the Queen <coughs> Peppa and her family are watching television. Suddenly, there is a special announcement from the Queen. <coughs> the Queen, the Queen! <coughs> Peppa cheers. <coughs> Hello to you all, the Queen says. Today I have decided to give an award to the hardest working person in the country. Wow! The hardest working person in the country is Miss Rabbit. <laughs> At the supermarket, Miss Rabbit is closing the shop when Mr. Zebra the postman presents her with a golden letter. Miss Rabbit, please come to my palace to get a medal for all your hard work. Bring friends, all the best to Queen. I can't visit the Queen, I've got too much work to do, Miss Rabbit panics. <coughs> Don't worry, Peppa says. The Queen has made it a holiday. It is the day Miss Rabbit visits the Queen. Peppa and her friends are going to. We're off to see the Queen. We're off to see the Queen. E I A D O. We're off to see the Queen. <laughs> Here we are, Miss Rabbit squeaks. Wow. 
Look at all the fancy stuff. Woof, Danny Dog says. Don't touch anything, Miss Rabbit warns. Where is the Queen? Emily Elephant asks. Queen! (coughs) Susie Sheep calls. Where are you? (coughs) In another fancy room, there is a lady sitting on a throne knitting. Hello, (coughs) Peppa says. Have you seen the Queen today? I am the Queen, the lady says. The children are very excited to meet you, Your Majesty, says Miss Rabbit. I'm excited to meet all of you, the Queen says, standing up. And now for Miss Rabbit's medal. Wow. This is the Queen's award for industry. Keep up the good work. The Queen puts a shiny gold medal over Miss Rabbit's head. Cheers for Miss Rabbit, the Queen says. Hip hip! Hooray! shout the children. Miss Rabbit and the children wear their boots to go out into the palace gardens with the Queen. Do you play in your garden all the time, Your Majesty? (coughs) Danny Dog asks. I don't have time for playing, no, answers the Queen. She suddenly stops. Oh dear, a muddy puddle. Never mind, we can walk around it. You can't walk around a muddy puddle, Peppa says. You have to jump in it. Peppa shows the Queen how to jump up and down in a muddy puddle. I say, that does look fun, the Queen says. Here one goes then. Stop, shouts Peppa. (gasps) Everyone gasps. If you jump in muddy puddles, Peppa says, you must wear your boots, Your Majesty. (laughs) The Queen goes inside and comes back with her boots on. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles, including the Queen. The end. Peppa Pig, Grumpy Rabbit's Hovercraft. Grandpa Pig is taking Peppa and George out for the first time on his sailing boat. Hello, old bean says Mr. Stallion. Grandpa, that man just called you an old bean, cries Peppa. It's another way of saying old friend, says Grandpa Pig. Now, where did I leave my boat? says Grandpa Pig. What does your boat look like, Grandpa? asks Peppa. It has a little red flag on top of the mast, says Grandpa Pig. Like that little flag, asks Peppa. Oh dear, Grandpa Pig's sailing boat has sunk. Oh no! Grampy Rabbit zooms past the boat. What is that monstrosity? asks Mr. Stallion. Is it allowed in the sailing club? asks Mrs. Corgi. Grumpy Rabbit reaches Peppa and George. Hello! shouts Grumpy Rabbit. What a marvellous day for sailing! (laughs) Hello, Grumpy Rabbit, says Peppa. Grandpa Pig, you look sad, says Grumpy Rabbit. What's the matter? We can't go sailing because our boat has sunk, says Peppa. Why don't you hop onto my hovercraft, suggests Grumpy Rabbit. You can't drive that thing around here, says Grandpa Pig. You're not a member of the sailing club. 
Well, you're a member, aren't you? replies Grumpy Rabbit. So I'm sure it will be perfectly fine. Peppa George and Grandpa Pig board Grumpy Rabbit's Horcraft. Hold on to your hats, shouts Grumpy Rabbit as they zoom across the sea. <coughs> Grumpy Rabbit's hovercraft can go on land and water. Wow! <coughs> Mr. Stallion and Mrs. Corgi are enjoying a peaceful day sailing. Oh, what is that horrible noise? cries Mrs. Corgi. It's that monstrosity again, says Mr. Stallion. Whoopee! Ha ha! says Grumpy Rabbit. Grumpy Rabbit stops off at the Sailing Club Cafe to get some juice. Hmm. This is the life, eh? says Grumpy Rabbit. The sea and the sky and the boat sailing by. Wow. But the boats are not sailing by, Grumpy Rabbit, says Peppa. There's no wind, says Grandpa Pig. Without wind, sailing boats can't sail. Suddenly, they hear voices calling for help. It's Mr. Stallion and Mrs. Corgi. We need to rescue them, Grumpy Rabbit, says Peppa. Grampy Rabbit zooms towards the shouting. Ahoy there, he calls. We can't get back to the dock without the wind, says Mrs. Corgi. Toss me a line and I'll tow you back in, says Grampy Rabbit. <coughs> Grampy Rabbit's hovercraft tows the sailing boats back to shore. We're towing the boats to shore. We're towing the boats to shore, sings Grampy Rabbit. We're towing the boats to the car park, towing the boats to B Park, sings Grampy Rabbit. <laughs> now you don't have to go so far to walk your cars. But sailing boats don't go on land like hovercrafts, gasps Grandpa Pig. Grandpa Pig, who is your friend? asks Mr. Stallion. We must thank him for rescuing us. His name is Grampy Rabbit, replies Grandpa Pig. <coughs> Grandpa Rabbit, delighted to meet you, old Bean, says Mr. Stallion. <coughs> you too, old Bean, replies Grampy Rabbit. <coughs> The end. Peppa Pig This book is all about Peppa Pig. That's me! Peppa lives with Mummy and Daddy Pig and her little brother George and with Goldie, Teddy and Mr. Dinosaur. Dinosaur! <laughs> At Playgroup, Madame Gazelle teaches Peppa and her friends. They paint, play, sing, and do lots of fun things. Peppa likes dressing up as everything. But her favourite thing to do is jump in muddy puddles. Peppa loves spending time with her granny and grandpa, especially dinner time. Hmm. Yummy, my favourite. Sometimes Peppa has so much fun, she doesn't want to go to bed. This is the best book ever. 
but she always enjoys a bedtime story. <laughs> the end. Peppa Pig, Peppa and Friends. Peppa loves her friends. She sees them every day at playgroup. Sometimes Peppa goes to playgroup early because she has joined breakfast club. <laughs> at breakfast club, there is cereal, fruit, and lots of toast. Please, can I have a slice? asks Peppa. Pop! Toast comes out for Peppa and all her friends. Hooray! Hooray! Susie Sheep is Peppa's best friend. They have played together since they were babies. Peppa and Susie like pretending. If they forget their bicycles, they ride on pretend ones instead. My pretend bicycle has got sparkly wheels, says Peppa, and it's painted like a rainbow. Susie gets on her pretend bicycle. My bike is pink and fluffy, she says. Danny Dog likes dressing up with Peppa. They love to dress as pirates. Shiver me timbers, says Danny. Where's me pieces of eight? Pardon? asks Peppa. Pirate talk can be a bit difficult to understand. Danny points to the map. They need to find the pirate treasure. Peppa spots a bag of chocolate coins beside the sofa. There it is. She cries. Mandy Mouse is Peppa's new friend. Mandy is very good at playing the recorder. Let's play a song together, she says. Good idea, Mandy, says Peppa. One, two, three. Peppa and Mandy lift up their recorders. Then they put their fingers over the holes and blow. Madame Gazelle smiles. Oh my, what lovely music! Rebecca Rabbit and Peppa love animals. Today they're at a petting farm. The petting farm is a place where you go to meet tiny little animals. Peppa gasps. Look at all the guinea pigs! The guinea pigs are very furry. They run up to see Peppa and Rebecca. Rebecca strokes an orange guinea pig. Can you hear him squeaking, Peppa? <laughs> Pedro Pony makes Peppa laugh. <laughs> it's always fun when he comes to play. Sometimes Pedro and Peppa are allowed to help make pizzas for tea. What toppings do you want? asks Peppa. She chooses cheese, tomatoes and mushrooms. Pedro chooses cheese and pineapple. Look! shouts Pedro. I've made a smiley face. <laughs> Gerald Giraffe is Peppa's tallest friend. He likes running around outside. Come on, says Gerald. Let's play basketball. Peppa aims the ball towards the hoop. It is very high up. Oh no, I can't reach it. Peppa cries. Gerald has a go. Whoosh! He throws the ball through the hoop. George is Peppa's little brother. They are extra special friends. George is still small. He likes copying Peppa. Look, George, says Peppa. There's a big muddy puddle. Peppa jumps into the puddle. George jumps into squelch. This muddy puddle is so big, cries Peppa. There's even room for all my friends. Peppa loves her friends. Everybody loves Peppa. The End Peppa Pig. Peppa meets Kylie Kangaroo.
It is a lovely sunny day, and Mr. and Mrs. Kangaroo have come to visit Mummy and Daddy Pig. Good night, Mr. Pig, says Mr. Kangaroo. We met at the airport a while ago, and you said we could visit, remember? Did I? replies Daddy Pig, a bit confused. We didn't have Kylie or Joey back then, adds Mrs. Kangaroo. Say hello, kids. Hello, I'm Carly Kangaroo, says Kylie. I'm Peppa Pig, snorts Peppa. And this is my little brother, George. <laughs> this is my little brother, Joey, says Kylie, pointing at Mrs. Kangaroo. Joey lives in Mrs. Kangaroo's pocket. He picks his head out and surprises everyone. <laughs> Laugh <laughs> Peppa and George. Mr. Kangaroo asked Daddy Pig if he's hungry. I'm always hungry, <laughs> replies Daddy Pig, rubbing his belly. No worries, says Mr. Kangaroo, getting out the barbecue. We'll make lunch for everyone. Do you like corn on the cob? asked Mrs. Kangaroo. Yummy, say Mummy and Daddy Pig. Let's hope it doesn't rain, says Daddy Pig. It always rains when we have a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> While lunch is cooking, Peppa and George want to jump up and down in muddy puddles, but they can't find any. We can still do jumping, says Peppa. Watch this. Peppa jumps as high as she can. Now you try, Kylie, she says. Kylie jumps high into the air. I like jumping too, she says. Whee! Wow! gasped Peppa and George amazed. Kangaroos can jump very high. We're playing jumping, says Peppa when Rebecca Rabbit arrives. Watch this, squeaks Rebecca, jumping as high as she can. Peppa asks Kylie to show Rebecca how high she can jump. Wow, gasps Rebecca, watching Kylie spring up into the air. Pedro Pony bounces into the garden on his space hopper. Kylie can jump higher than that, says Peppa. Show him, Kylie. Wow, gasped Pedro, watching Kylie leap up into the air. Kylie is the best at jumping because she's a kangaroo. Food's ready, calls Mr. Kangaroo. But just as they are about to eat, it starts to rain. Oh dear, sighs Daddy Pig. No worries, says Mr. Kangaroo, putting up a huge umbrella. The rain makes eating outside more fun. After they finish their corn, the rain stops and the sun comes out again. The rain makes lots of muddy puddles too, says Peppa, jumping up and down. Wow, gasped Kylie. That looks really fun. Can we try it as well? Everyone joins Peppa and they all make a giant muddy puddle. I'm the best at jumping because I'm a kangaroo, says Kylie. But Peppa is the best at jumping up and down in muddy puddles. The end. Peppa Pig, Australian fun. <laughs> Peppa loves exploring Australia. Let's go to the beach, she says. Mr. Kangaroo drives everyone there in his camper van. The sand is rough and scratchy, says Kylie Kangaroo. Let's go! At the beach, the children can't wait to get in the water. Come on, Peppa! cries Kylie. Let's go surfing. 
<laughs> Peppa giggles. The waves are big and bumpy. Woohoo! Peppa loves the animals in Australia. Look, says Peppa. I found a teddy bear. That's a koala, says Mummy Pig. Its fur is fluffy and soft. Peppa enjoys playing with boomerangs. Wow. When she throws one in the air, it comes right back to her. My boomerang works like magic, shouts Peppa. It is smooth and bendy. Woo 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 woo! <laughs> Most of all, Peppa loves her friends in Australia. I love your pink dress, Peppa tells Kylie. I love your red dress, Kylie replies. It is happy. Peppa visits the Australian Botanical Gardens. <coughs> Peppa had flown to Australia to visit her friend Kylie Kangaroo. Wow. Did you tell them we were coming? asked Mummy Pig. <coughs> no. I thought you did, said Daddy Pig, ringing the doorbell. Mr. Pig, said Mr. Kangaroo, opening the door. Eh, what, what an amazing surprise. You said we should visit if we were passing again, said Daddy Pig. Yeah, for sure, said Mr. Kangaroo. Kylie and Mrs. Kangaroo came to say hello. Joey Kangaroo popped his head out of Mrs. Kangaroo's pouch and waved his toy crocodile. Ah, crocodile, he said. Dinosaur, Ooh. George girl back. <laughs> we were just going to the botanical gardens, said Mr. Kangaroo. Did you want to join us? Yes, please, cheered Peppa and her family. <laughs> On the journey, Kylie told Peppa all about the botanical gardens. There's a rock garden, a desert track, a rainforest dome, a nature reserve, and the best bit, said Kylie. Why don't you leave the best bit as a surprise, said Mr. Kangaroo. OK, Daddy, said Kylie. You'll love the gardens, Peppa. They're wild. Wow. I can't wait, said Peppa. You don't need to, said Mrs. Kangaroo. We're here. The first area to explore was a rock garden. These rocks are so big, gasped Peppa. I wish we had them at home. Let's go across the wibbly wobbly rope bridge, said Kylie. Wibble wobble wibble wobble, sang Peppa and Kylie as he skipped along the bridge. <laughs> Joey crept towards Daddy Pig with a toy crocodile. Stop, shouted Joey. Ah! cried Daddy Pig. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. There aren't any crocodiles around, said Mr. Kangaroo. <laughs> In this garden, at least. He looked over at Kylie and winked. At the other end of the wibbly-wobbly rope bridge was the outback desert track. Wow! We have to hop along the track and find the gum tree, said Kylie. But how do we know what the gum tree looks like? asked Peppa. It has a shiny silver trunk, explained Kylie. Oh. And it's the only tree in the whole track. Wow. Ooh, said Peppa. <coughs> Ready, steady, go, shouted Kylie. <coughs> Peppa and Kylie ran across the desert track to the gum tree. It's a bit hot here, panted Daddy Pig. <coughs> well, we are in the desert, said Mummy Pig. Peppa loved the silver gum tree. It's so shiny, she said. I wish we had one at home. Is this a surprise, Kylie? No, said Kylie. I love the gum tree, but it's not the best bit. The next part of the gardens was inside a big glass dome. Wow. This is the rainforest dome, said Kylie. We have lots of rainforests in Australia. Oh. Wow! <coughs> gasped Peppa, gazing up at the tall trees. Why is it called a rainforest? <coughs> because it's a forest, said Kylie. 
and it rains a lot. Oh. Ah, said Peppa. But it's not raining now. Let's push the big buttons and see what happens, said Kylie. Kylie and Peppa pushed the buttons and suddenly, pitter-patter, it started to rain. I love rainforest domes, said Peppa. I wish we had one at home. A room with warm rain, said Daddy Pig. We do need one at home. <laughs> we have one, Daddy Pig, said Mummy Pig. It's called the shower. <laughs> Is this the surprise, Kylie? asked Peppa. No, said Kylie. Rainforests are brilliant, but this isn't the best bit. Bring, bring. Suddenly, there was a loud bring. Oh dear, what was that? asked Mummy Pig. Don't worry, said Mrs Kangaroo. That was a bellbird. Their calls can be a little alarming. <laughs> oh, I see, Mummy Pig shouted over the ringing. Is this a surprise, Kylie? asked Peppa. No, said Kylie. Bellbirds are great, but this isn't the best bit. Outside the rainforest dome was a nature reserve. This is a nice spot for lunch, said Mr. Kangaroo, whipping out a picnic. Mm. Mr. Duckbill Platypus, gasped Peppa. So nice to see you again. She always finds us when we have a picnic, said Kylie. After the picnic, Peppa and Kylie looked up at the trees. Let's pretend we're possums running along the branches at night, said Kylie showing Peppa how to run like a possum. <laughs> Look, whispered Peppa, spotting something in a tree. What's that? It's a koala, Kylie whispered back. She looks sleepy because she sleeps most of the day, and when she's not sleeping, she's munching leaves. <laughs> she's so cute, said Peppa. Is this the surprise, Kylie? <laughs> no, said Kylie. Koalas are amazing, but they're not the best bit. Let's pretend to be koalas, said Peppa. Munch, munch, munch. I love koalas, said Peppa. I wish we had them at home. Come on, little ones, said Mrs Kangaroo. It's time for... Yikes, cried Daddy Pig. A crocodile! It's not a real one, said Kylie. It's a crocodile slide, leading to the surprise. Oh. Ooh, said Peppa, climbing to the top of the slide. <laughs> then she slid down into a huge muddy puddle. Wow. This is the best bit, Peppa, yelled Kylie, landing in the mud. It's the best thing ever, cheered Peppa. <laughs> After lots of slides down the crocodile into huge muddy puddle, it was time for everyone to go home. Did you like the gardens, Peppa? asked Kylie. Yes, said Peppa. I loved them and the best bit was the surprise. <laughs> crocodile, growled George. He loved the crocodile. Australian gardens have everything, said Peppa. I wish we could bring them home with us. I don't think they would fit on the plane, Peppa, said Mummy Pig. We'll just have to come back and visit again, won't we, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> yes, cheered Peppa and Kylie. Sure, said Mr Kangaroo. Drop by any time. Uh, yes, of course, said Mrs Kangaroo. Any time. Peppa loves the Australian Botanical Gardens. Everyone loves the Australian Botanical Gardens. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Peppa's Australian Underwater Adventure. Peppa was very excited. She had just won a Great Barrier Reef art competition at the aquarium. Congrats, Peppa, 
said Miss Rabbit. Your prize is to join me on a marine biology trip to Australia. Wow. <whistles> Hooray, cheered Peppa. <laughs> What's marine biology? <whistles> it's learning about the plants and animals that live in the sea, explained Miss Rabbit. Ooh, said Peppa. We're going to stay with Mrs. Kangaroo, continued Miss Rabbit. She will teach us how to scuba dive in the Great Barrier Reef. <coughs> what an amazing prize for a competition, said Mummy Pig, a bit surprised. <coughs> well, Peppa's drawing was very imaginative, said Miss Rabbit. Her picture wasn't exactly like any fish I have ever seen, but it was a prize-winning picture. I see, said Mummy Pig. There's nothing wrong with a bit of imagination, is there? <laughs> of course, you, Daddy Pig and George will be coming to Australia too, Miss Rabbit told Mummy Pig. <laughs> How lovely, replied Mummy Pig. Thank you, Mrs. Rabbit. <laughs> Peppa and her family are very excited to be seeing their friends in Australia again. We'll be leaving first thing tomorrow, said Miss Rabbit. Oh. Right then, said Mummy Pig. <coughs> We'd better head to the shops and get everything we need for the trip. <coughs> Peppa George, Mummy and Daddy Pig headed to Mr Fox's shop and told him what they needed. Oh. Mr Fox got everything out. Now, he said, I think you'll also need some paper and colouring pens. You never know when they might come in handy. Oh. I'm not sure we do, began Mummy Pig. <coughs> Trust me, Mummy Pig, Sir Fox interrupted. <coughs> You'll definitely need these. <coughs> oh, <coughs> okay then, said Mummy Pig. Thank you for your help, Mr Fox. We must get going now so we can pack all of this. <coughs> The next morning, Peppa and her family woke up very early and hopped on the aeroplane to Australia. Where's Miss Rabbit? asked Daddy Pig. I think she's finding her own way there, replied Mummy Pig. While Peppa George, Mummy and Daddy Pig flew on an aeroplane, Miss Rabbit travelled to Australia by hot air balloon. <laughs> helicopter and boat. Ahoy there! <laughs> Amazingly, Miss Rabbit arrived in Australia at the exact same time as Peppa and her family. <laughs> Welcome to Australia, everyone, said Miss Kangaroo. <laughs> it's so good to see you said Kylie Kangaroo, giving Peppa a big hug. <sighs> After they were settled in, Mrs Kangaroo went through the diving plan with Kylie, Peppa and Miss Rabbit. <coughs> there are so many amazing creatures to discover in the Great Barrier Reef, she explained. It's an incredible place. <coughs> Mrs Kangaroo taught Peppa about diving and marine biology. Wow! What does buddy up mean? asked Peppa. <coughs> it means we are going to dive in a group, explained Miss Kangaroo. <coughs> she held up a list of creatures they were going to see and count on their underwater adventure. Green sea turtles. Orange clownfish. Blue starfish, pink sea anemones, and even whales. Wow! gasped Peppa. She was so excited. <laughs> Mrs. Kangaroo drove everyone to the boat. Then they hopped on board with their diving gear and headed out to the diving site. When the boat stopped, Mrs. Kangaroo gave Peppa and Kylie a special underwater list each. 
It's important that we count the marine life carefully, she said. If you spot anything unusual, let me know. Then Peppa, Miss Rabbit, Kylie and Mrs Kangaroo jumped backwards off the boat. They dived deep down under the water to the reef. The divers saw lots of amazing plants and animals on the reef. They spotted five orange clownfish, four pink sea anemones, three brilliant blue starfish, two big green turtles, and one enormous whale. Wow! said Peppa. It's so colourful down here. Peppa and Miss Rabbit followed the whale further into the reef. Peppa used her diving fins to swim as fast as she could to keep up, and Miss Rabbit paddled along behind her. The whale pointed its fin at a big rock. Peppa peered behind the rock and saw a fish that wasn't on Mrs Kangaroo's list, poking its head out. That looks just like the fish I coloured in, said Peppa. <laughs> At the end of the dive, everyone climbed back on board the boat. We counted so many creatures, said Peppa excitedly. It was amazing. I also spotted a beautiful fish that wasn't on your list, Miss Kangaroo. <laughs> what did it look like, Peppa? asked Kylie. It looked a bit like a clownfish, said Peppa, but not exactly. Hmm, said Mrs Kangaroo. Can you describe it a bit more, Peppa? Peppa used the colouring pens from Mr Fox's shop to draw the fish she had seen. It looked just like her picture from the aquarium. Wow, that's a lovely fish, Peppa, said Kylie. <coughs> Peppa is very good at drawing, said Miss Rabbit. I don't believe it, gasped Mrs Kangaroo when she saw Peppa's drawing. It looks just like a rare blue clownfish. Wow! That hasn't been seen for a while now. Where did you spot it, Peppa? Peppa took everyone back to where she had seen the unusual fish. Mrs Kangaroo had been searching for the blue clownfish for a long time. <whistles> Peppa spotted the whale winking at her in the distance. Thank you for showing us the fish, lovely whale, Peppa said, winking back. After Mrs Kangaroo had taken lots of photographs of the fish, she signalled for everyone to swim up to the boat and head back to the shore. That afternoon, Mrs Kangaroo and her family cooked a big meal to celebrate Peppa's amazing discovery. Mm. What do you think of the Great Barrier Reef, Peppa? asked Daddy Pig. <laughs> it's the most brilliant place ever, replied Peppa. The fish are just like I imagined they would be. She held up her picture from the art competition. It looked exactly like the fish she had seen on her dive. Everyone laughed. Peppa loves the beautiful Great Barrier Reef. Everyone loves the beautiful Great Barrier Reef. Peppa Pig. Peppa visits the Outback. Peppa has come to visit Kylie Kangaroo. Daddy Pig rings the bell. Mr. Kangaroo opens the door. He is surprised to see Peppa and all her family. Kylie, he calls. Look who has dropped by. <whistles> Kylie's little brother, Joey, smiles at George. Dinosaur, says George. Grrr, <whistles> <whistles> says Joey. Crocodile. <whistles> We are going for a picnic, says Mrs Kangaroo. Why don't you come along? The picnic.
picnic spot is a long way away. Mr. Kangaroo has to fly a plane to get there. We're going to the outback, says Kylie. I love the outback, <coughs> snorts Pepper. Um, what is it? <coughs> Mr. Kangaroo explains that the outback is a very special, magical place. The plane lands at the picnic spot. It is very hot. Mr. Kangaroo gives out bottles of water. Daddy Pig tips a bottle of water all over his head. Ah, nice and cool. <laughs> Daddy, frowns Peppa, you should drink it, not splash it around. Mr. Kangaroo cooks a picnic food on the barbecue. When we have a picnic, Mrs. Duck always shows up says Peppa. A little brown animal waddles into the sunshine. When we have a picnic, grins Kylie, Mrs. Duckbill Platypus always shows up. <laughs> After the picnic, there's time for a game of cricket. You can bat, Peppa, says Mrs. Kangaroo. Kylie bowls the ball. Peppa hits it with the bat. What? <laughs> oh dear. The ball has landed in a tree. Daddy Pig lifts Peppa up high. She reaches for the ball. Oh, she gasps. A teddy bear is holding on to it. <laughs> That's not a teddy, giggles Kylie. That's a koala. Peppa smiles at the koala. It is very sweet and cuddly. When it gets dark, Mr. Kangaroo flies everyone back home again. You're staying at our house tonight, Peppa, says Kylie. Hooray! Yippee, snorts Peppa. <coughs> I loved our picnic in the outback. The end. Peppa Peak. Peppa visits the Great Barrier Reef. <coughs> Peppa is on holiday in Australia, visiting her friend, Kylie Kangaroo. Wow! I love it at your house, Kylie, says Peppa. I could stay here forever, decides Daddy Pig. <laughs> it's great having you stay, says Mrs. Kangaroo, but I have to go to work today. Oh. Mrs. Kangaroo is a marine biologist. She studies creatures that live in the sea. Do creatures in the sea have bridges to swim through and treasure to play with? Wonders Peppa. <laughs> no, snorts Daddy Pig. That's just the stuff that people put in fish tanks. <laughs> Mrs. Kangaroo takes everyone down to the beach. She points to the sea. This, she says, is my office. How can you work in the sea? asks Peppa. With this submarine, says Mrs. Kangaroo. Hop in. <laughs> the submarine goes down deep under the water. Peppa gasps. It's all the colours of the rainbow. <laughs> that is coral, says Mrs. Kangaroo. It's made of lots and lots of tiny creatures. <gasps> We call it the Great Barrier Reef. Wow. The coral is very pretty. Peppa would like to take some home. We must never ever take anything away from here, says Miss Kangaroo. The reef is home to lots of sea creatures, explains Kylie. Look! Giant turtle swims up to say hello. There's a little bridge, says Peppa. Just like in the fish tank. <laughs> Except there's no treasure chest, of course, chuckles Daddy Pig. <laughs> George spots something in the sand. Mrs. Kangaroo blinks. It's a chest full of gold coins. George has found a treasure chest. Hooray! The submarine carefully picks it up. Wait, 
cries Peppa. We must never ever take anything away from the reef. Only natural things, says Miss Kangaroo. These gold coins don't belong here. Mr. Kangaroo loads the treasure chest onto the camper van. These gold coins will pay for lots more marine research, says Kylie. Hooray! Mrs. Kangaroo smiles. That was a good day at the office. Yes, snorts Pepper. It was. <laughs> the end. Pepper throws a boomerang. It is nearly the end of Peppa's holiday. <sighs> she has been to Australia. Oh! I love having you stay, says Kylie Kangaroo. Peppa nods. <coughs> it has been the best holiday ever. <coughs> Why don't you play in the garden while we pack? <coughs> says Mummy Pig. Peppa, George and Kylie run outside. <coughs> I wish we didn't have to go home says Peppa. Don't be sad, smiles Kylie. I've got you a goodbye present. The present looks like a bendy banana. Peppa opens it up. It's a thing. The thing is called a boomerang. A boomerang is very special, says Kylie. If you throw it right, it will come back to you. Peppa throws the boomerang, but it lands on the grass. Oh, she cries. It doesn't work. Throw it harder, says Kylie. Peppa has another go. She throws the boomerang hard, and it comes back. Mr. Kangaroo runs out to the garden. He loves throwing boomerangs. Watch this, Daddy Pig. He grins. Oh dear, Mr. Kangaroo threw the boomerang hard, but it didn't come back. Er, oh. hi, Mr. Wallaby, he says. <coughs> Mr. Wallaby is Mr. Kangaroo's neighbor. The boomerang has gone through his window. Luckily, Mr. Wallaby is a very nice neighbor. Daddy Pig wants to try the boomerang. He throws it up into the air and it comes back towards him. That's it, Daddy! shouts Peppa. Catch it! Crash! Daddy Pig doesn't catch the boomerang. Oh, I think we should be going, says Mr. Kangaroo. Nah, says Mr. Wallaby. Let me show you mates how a boomerang should be thrown. Mr. Wallaby throws the boomerang as hard as he can. <laughs> Crash! Mr. Wallaby has now got three broken windows. Now it really is time for everyone to be going. <sighs> I loved our holiday in Australia says Peppa. Come back again, smiles Kylie. I will, <coughs> promises Peppa. Just like my boomerang. <laughs> the end. Peppa Pig, Peppa's Australian Christmas. It was Christmas time and Peppa and her family were flying to Australia to visit Kylie Kangaroo. Hooray! I can't wait to see Kylie, <coughs> says Peppa. <laughs> yes, it's going to be a brilliant Christmas staying with the Kangaroo family, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> you did tell them we were coming, didn't you, Daddy Pig? <coughs> said Mummy Pig. <coughs> replied Daddy Pig. I thought you did. <coughs> Peppa and her family arrived at Kylie's house on Christmas morning. <coughs> Hello, Mr. Kangaroo, said Mummy Pig. <coughs> My goodness, <coughs> gasped Mr. Kangaroo. You're all here, again. 
We've come to spend Christmas with you, announced Daddy Pig. <laughs> began Mr. Kangaroo. What an amazing surprise! Kylie bounded over to Peppa. Happy Christmas, she cried. Happy Christmas, Kylie, said Peppa. <laughs> You've arrived just in time, said Mrs. Kangaroo. We're off to the beach. Oh. The beach, said Peppa, on Christmas Day. <whistles> yes, said Mr. Kangaroo. It's hot here at Christmas. Wow. Everyone got ready for the beach and hopped into the camper van. Brum. Well, blow me down. If it isn't our friends from far away, said Mr. Wallaby when they arrived. <laughs> Happy Christmas, Mr. Wallaby, cried Peppa. I'm cooking corn on the cob for Christmas lunch said Mr. Wallaby. Hmm. Yum! Everyone cheered. Christmas on the beach is great, said Mr. Wallaby. <coughs> the only thing that would make it better is snow. Does it snow for your Christmases, Peppa? asked Kylie. Yes, <coughs> Peppa said proudly. Sometimes. I've never seen real snow, <sighs> said Kylie. What's it like? It's cold, <coughs> said Peppa. And fluffy, and you can make snowmen. <gasps> we use sticks for the arms, stones for the eyes and mouth, and a big carrot for the nose. Wow. <whistles> we do the same, said Kylie. <laughs> but with sand instead of snow. <whistles> yes said Mr. Kangaroo, clumping some wet sand together. We use sand for the body and head and driftwood for the arms. Oh. Pebbles for the eyes and mouth, said Kylie. Wow. And corn on the cob for the nose, added Mr. Wallaby. Ooh, said Mummy Pig. What could be more Christmassy than that? Look at that wave, called Peppa, pointing at a giant wall of water rolling towards the shore. Ho, 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 a voice called from the top of the wave. It was Santa on a surfboard. Santa, gasped the children. Ho, ho, ho. Santa surfed right up onto the beach. Merry Christmas! He cheered, hopping off his surfboard. I've brought presents for Peppa, Kylie, George and Joey. Merry Christmas, Santa! Cried Peppa and Kylie. Thank you! Everyone was very excited to see Santa. <laughs> Santa gave Peppa her present. She tore off the wrapping paper. A speed, said Peppa. Thank you. George tore the paper off his present to find a bucket. He jumped up and down. Bucket! He cried. <laughs> First Peppa used her spade to fill up George's bucket with sand. She patted it down. Then George tipped the sand out. Ta-da! He cried. Isn't it brilliant making a sandcastle on Christmas Day, George? said Peppa. <laughs> sandcastle, said George, giggling. <laughs> Sitting in Mrs. Kangaroo's pouch, Joey opened his present. It was a bouncy beach ball. Wow. Boing, boing, 
he cried, throwing it up and down. Then Kylie opened her gift. Ooh, she gasped. It's a... It's a... What is it? Peppa came running over. It's a snow globe, Kylie! She explained. Try... Try shaking it, said Mr. Kangaroo. Oh. Kylie gave her snow globe a shake. Wow! Swirly white snowflakes danced around inside it. Struth, that's a wonderful sight, said Mr. Wallaby. Snow! gasped Kylie, amazed. <laughs> I've got my own snow! Now that I've delivered your presents, I think I'll have a paddle, said Santa. Oh. He kicked off his boots and walked into the sea. Ho, 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 lovely and warm, he said. Peppa Kylie and Daddy Pig went to join him. What could be more Christmassy than paddling in the sea on Christmas Day, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> I reckon the corn cobs are ready, called Mr. Wallaby. Tack in. Mmm, mm, delicious, said Mrs. Kangaroo. Christmas at the beach is so much fun, said Kylie. Yes, said Peppa, it's the best. Peppa and Kylie love Christmas at the beach. Everyone loves Christmas at the beach. Merry Christmas, everyone. Peppa Pig This book is all about Peppa Pig. That's me! <laughs> Peppa lives with Mummy and Daddy Pig and her little brother George and with Goldie, Teddy and Mr. Dinosaur. Dinosaur! At Playgroup, Madame Gazelle teaches Peppa and her friends. They paint, play, sing, and do lots of fun things. Peppa likes dressing up as everything. But her favourite thing to do is jump in muddy puddles. Peppa loves spending time with her granny and grandpa, especially dinner time. Hmm. Yummy, my favourite! <laughs> Sometimes Peppa has so much fun, she doesn't want to go to bed. This is the best book ever! <laughs> but she always enjoys a bedtime story. The end. Peppa Pig, Cold Winter Day. It is a cold winter day. Peppa and George have wrapped up warm in their hats, scarves and mittens to go and feed the ducks. Oh! Look, it's a muddy puddle, <coughs> cries Peppa. Peppa loves jumping in muddy puddles. She runs over to the puddle, but as she tries to jump in, she slips. <coughs> oh, it's frozen solid, she says. <coughs> Snorts George. 
It's not funny, George, says Peppa. Daddy Pig loves muddy puddles too. <laughs> Be careful, Daddy, shouts Peppa. Daddy Pig has jumped straight on to the frozen puddle. Whoa, says Daddy Pig, wobbling about. It's lucky I'm so good at balancing. <laughs> Everyone keeps walking until they find the duck pond. Wow! Peppa and George throw some bread to the ducks, but it just bounces along the surface. The pond is frozen too. <gasps> Peppa and George both giggle as the ducks slide around. <laughs> Sorry for laughing, Mrs. Duck says Peppa. But you do look funny. Look, it's snowing, says Daddy Pig. I'm going to catch lots of snowflakes, says Peppa. <laughs> says George, as he tries to catch them too. Hello, Peppa and George, <laughs> says Susie Sheep. We're going to have a toboggan race. Wow. Please, can we go and watch? Asks Peppa. Of course, says Mummy Pig. Let's walk up the hill to the start. Hooray! Daddy Pig picks up George because it is too slippery for him to walk up the hill on his own. What about me? Says Peppa. It's a bit slippery for me too. Come on then, says Daddy Pig, scooping up Peppa. Mummy Pig tells Daddy Pig to be extra careful not to fall over. Oh. Don't worry, Mummy Pig, he says. I'm very good at balancing. <laughs> at the top of the hill, all the toboggans are just setting off when Daddy Pig topples over and starts skidding down the hill. <laughs> he zooms past Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra and Pedro Pony. <laughs> Soon... Daddy Pig is in the lead. <coughs> Peppa and George are sitting on Daddy Pig's tummy. Whee! They call. They are enjoying the ride. <coughs> Peppa and George win the race. <coughs> My daddy makes a great toboggan, Peppa tells everyone. All the children are laughing about Peppa and George's special toboggan ride. It's not funny, says Daddy Pig. It is a bit funny, says Mummy Pig. I suppose it is a bit funny. <laughs> Daddy Pig agrees. <laughs> Everyone laughs. <laughs> the end. Peppa Pig, Grumpy Rabbit's Lighthouse. <coughs> Peppa George and Danny Dog are helping deliver supplies to Grandad Dog's friend, Grumpy Rabbit. Where does Grumpy Rabbit live? asks Peppa. Out at sea on a rock, <coughs> says Grandad Dog. <coughs> on a rock, says Peppa. <coughs> yes. In that lighthouse, says Danny. Wow. Oh, gasped Peppa and George. <laughs> they land at the lighthouse. Hooray! Visitors, exclaims Grumpy Rabbit. I haven't had visitors in many a moon. I get lonely with just the sea and the sky for company. Oh. How long have you been here, asked Peppa. Since Tuesday, says Grumpy Rabbit. I've got tales to tell, says Grumpy Rabbit, if you'd like to hear. No thanks, says Grandad Dog quickly. Yes, please, reply Peppa and Danny. Grumpy Rabbit starts to sing. I got up this morning, the sea was still there. So was the sky, the sea, the sky, the sea, the sky. Peppa and Danny join in. <laughs> Why is your house called a lighthouse? asks Peppa. 
I'll show you, says Grumpy Rabbit. They climb a staircase to the very top of the lighthouse. It's called a lighthouse because it has this big light at the top, says Grumpy Rabbit. Wow. It shines through the dark, helping sailors find their way. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit takes out a megaphone. And when it's foggy, I use this foghorn. He says, Fog! That's loud, cries Peppa. No fog today, just sea and sky, says Grumpy Rabbit sadly. <sighs> The stories I could tell. No thanks, says Grandad Dog. We must be going. Peppa George, Danny and Grandad Dog set off for home. It is now very dark. Don't worry, says Grandad Dog. The light from Grumpy Rabbit's lighthouse will show us a way home. Grumpy Rabbit is ready for bed. So he turns the light out. He also turns the big light out. Grandad Dog phones Grumpy Rabbit. Could you turn the big light on again? He asks. The big light shines again. Hooray! cry Peppa and Danny. It is getting foggy. I can't see the light anymore, says Peppa. Grandad Dog phones Grumpy Rabbit. It's us again, he says. Can you sound the foghorn, please? Fog! Bellows Grumpy Rabbit. Fog! Grumpy Rabbit's voice is like a foghorn. Thanks to Grumpy Rabbit, they arrive back safe on land. Mummy Pig. Daddy Pig and Mrs. Dog are waiting to take them home. We went to a lighthouse, says Peppa excitedly. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit's lighthouse guided us home safely, <laughs> says Grandad Dog. Grumpy Rabbit sang a song. Would you like to hear it? <laughs> Asked Peppa. No thanks, says Grandad Dog. <laughs> yes, please, say the parents. Peppa and Danny sing. I got up this morning. The sea was still there. So is the sky, the sea, the sky. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Peppa Pig, Delphine Donkey. <laughs> this is Peppa's friend, Delphine Donkey. Delphine lives in France. Wow. Peppa speaks English. Delphine speaks French. Hello, says Peppa. Bonjour, says Delphine. <laughs> Delphine lives in a city called Paris. Peppa and her family like to go and visit. Sometimes we travel on a train, says Peppa. And sometimes we travel on a boat. <laughs> Peppa and Delphine love exploring Paris together. They go to parks, jump in puddles and visit cafes. Wow. Would you like a croissant? Asks Delphine. Hmm. Mm, says Peppa. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> in the holidays, Delphine comes to stay at Peppa's house. They sleep at each end of Peppa's bunk bed. <gasps> I like sharing with you, says Delphine. Peppa has lots of fun with her friend Delphine. They don't see each other very often. <sighs> but that makes it extra special when they do. Hooray! Peppa loves Delphine Donkey. Everyone loves Delphine Donkey. <laughs> First words with Peppa Pig. Dens. <laughs> Peppa's many friends came to play in her treehouse. The treehouse 
is yellow and its door is green. Oh. Grandpa Pig made the tree house for us. It is the best, said Peppa. Peppa made tea for her five friends in the tree house. Hmm. Don't forget me, said Zoe Zebra. Don't be sad. I have made you some tea in the green cup, said Peppa. <laughs> Danny Dog and Pedro Pony came to call at the tree house. Is there room for us in your tree house? said Danny Dog. <laughs> I don't think you will fit. There are five friends in here. There are too many friends in here, said Peppa. <laughs> Grandpa Pig made a den for Danny and Pedro. Yay! I like its flag. It is the best, said Pedro Pony. <laughs> if you pull this bit, its red door goes up and down, said Grandpa Pig. It has so many good bits, it is the best, said Danny Dog. Thank you. Peppa and her friends came to call at the den. Its red door was pulled down. Wow. Is there room for us in the den, said Peppa. I don't think you will fit. There are too many friends in here, said Danny. Grandpa Pig got some string. Oh. If you pull the string from the treehouse to the den, you can call your friends, said Grandpa Pig. <laughs> the friends pulled the string. The treehouse Grandpa Pig made for us is the best. Its door is green, <laughs> called Susie Sheep. The den that Grandpa Pig made for us is the best. Its door goes up and down if you pull it, <coughs> called Danny Dog. Peppa's five friends went to the den. <coughs> the den is the best as the door goes up and down, they said. <coughs> I don't think so. I still think the tree house is the best. <coughs> its door is green, said Peppa. <coughs> Then the rain came. The den did not have a roof. Many of the friends went back to the treehouse. The treehouse is the best as its roof will keep the rain off, they said. I don't think so. I still think the den is the best, said Danny Dog. Then the sun came back. The rain had made five spots of mud on the green grass. Now we don't want to go in the den or the tree house, <coughs> said Susie Sheep. The mud is best for us. <coughs> the end. Peppa Pig International Day. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. They are dressed up in costumes from lots of different countries. <laughs> Today is International Day when we celebrate all the countries of the world, says Madame Gazelle. I'm dressed as Australia, says Wendy Wolf. Ow! I'm Japan, says Zoe Zebra. <laughs> and Richard is Spain. <laughs> I'm the United Kingdom, says Freddy Fox. <laughs> I'm America, says Pedro Pony. I'm Switzerland, says Candy Cat. <laughs> I'm France, says Peppa. <laughs> and George is Russia. <laughs> What do all the countries of the world do? asked Rebecca Rabbit. They sing the Song of Harmony together, says Madame Gazelle. Wow. Later, we will sing it for your parents. Hooray! 
Hooray! Everyone shouts. The children like singing. <laughs> now it is playtime. All the countries are playing in the playground. Play nicely together, calls Madame Gazelle. France and Switzerland are having a lovely time on the swing. <laughs> Laugh Peppa and Candy. The other countries are having fun too. Australia and the United Kingdom are on the slide. Japan and South Africa are on the roundabout. Germany and Spain are playing hopscotch. Wow. Holland and Mexico are playing with the tyre swing. <laughs> Russia, Greece, Spain and America are playing together in the sandpit. I'm building a big sand castle, says America. Yeehaw! <laughs> the sandpit is just the right size for four countries to play in. <gasps> Can we play in the sandpit now? asks Japan. <laughs> we can all fit in says America. You can play on this side, <laughs> says Holland. But we want to play here, says America. <gasps> Russia, Greece and Spain are upset. <laughs> hello, 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 cries the United Kingdom. What's all this noise about then? <laughs> Everyone tries to explain. <laughs> France thinks that Holland is being a bit bossy. Holland thinks it's Russia's fault. Leave George alone, he's only little, cries France. Oh dear, the countries of the world are not playing nicely together. <sighs> that is enough! Is this how you think the countries of the world behave? demands Madame Gazelle. <gasps> Don't they? asks France. Of course not! says Madame Gazelle. All the parents have arrived. How is International Day going? asks Mummy Rabbit. Not too bad, says Madame Gazelle. We will now sing for you. Madame Gazelle plays her guitar as all the children sing this song of harmony. Peace and harmony in all the world. Peace and harmony in all the world. Peace and harmony in all the world. Peace and harmony. Peppa and her friends love singing together in harmony. All the countries of the world love singing together in harmony. <laughs> The end. First words with Peppa Pig. Level 1. Hide and seek. Meet Peppa, George, Daddy Pig, and Mummy Pig. Learn, come, find, in, little, look, me, one, play, see, three, two, you. Read, hide and seek, box. Go and play for a little bit, you two, said Mummy Pig. You can play hide and seek, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> George, you run and hide. I can come and look for you, said Peppa. George is little. George can play hide and seek, but Mummy Pig must help him to play. Run and hide, George. Peppa can come and find you, said Mummy Pig. One, two, three, said Peppa. George is little. He can hide in a little gap. 
I can see you, George, said Peppa. <laughs> Next, I will run and hide. You can come and look for me, said Peppa. <laughs> Mummy can help you play, George, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> One, two, three, said Mummy Pig. Peppa ran away to hide. I can see a little box to hide in, said Peppa. George is little. He can come and look for me. He will not find me in here, said Peppa. George ran to look in the little gap. No Peppa. Come and find me, said Peppa. George had a look. He did not see Peppa in the little box. Come and find me, said Peppa. George had a look, but he still did not see Peppa in the box. Where is Peppa? George will not look in this little box. He cannot find me, said Peppa. George did look in the little box. He did not see Peppa. One, two, three, pop! Look at me in the box, George, said Peppa. <laughs> Hide and seek is fun to play. <laughs> the end. Hi kids, did you have fun watching this video? Then like and subscribe for more! <laughs>